Okay, welcome folks. Good long we'll get to the decimals. Well, I'm doing it here by my class. So the first question is 33 times 50 times by 23. What we need to do first of all is count the number of decimal places. The back of rush. Oops. Right. So look over here. One, two. Here's the decimal point. We have two decimal places in our question. There's no decimal places here. So we'll have therefore two decimal places in our answer. <coughs> this is a technique that we use. Count them in, count them back out again. So let's try the question now. So we set it out. 33.50 times by 23. Now, what do we do? On the first line, we multiply by the first digit. What's the first digit? Three. Three. So zero times by three is? Zero. Five times by three is? Fifteen. Three times by three is nine, add one is? Ten. Three times by three is nine, add one is? Ten. We don't put any decimal points at the moment. On the next line down, we first of all start with one, zero, before we start. And we multiply by the second digit, which is two, which really represents 20. That's why we put a zero there. So zero times by two is zero. Five times by two is ten. ten. Three times by two is six. Add one is seven. 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 Three times by two is six. Now add it all up. So zero add zero is zero. 5 at 0 is? 5. 0 at 0 is? 0. 0 at 7 is? 7. And 6 at 0 is? 7. 6. 6. So pardon me, is there that one as well as remainder? Pardon me, stop there. You can correct that straight away. <coughs> that one should be 7. I thought that was a remainder. It's not a remainder, it's actually the proper one. Let's quickly get rid of that. Put that back in as it should be. So 6 at the 1 <coughs> will give you 7. I just said 6 at 0. The remainder there. Okay, that's lovely. Now we need to put this point back here. So we have two decimal places in the question. So we're gonna have two decimal places in the answer. And there it goes. And that's the end of the first question. And we can put a pound sign here for completeness. Next question. We have 12.35 times by 9. 1, 2, Two decimal places in the question, so we'll have two decimal places in the answer. So let's set it out. So we put the nine over here. One digit. So five times by nine is forty-five. Three times by nine is twenty-seven. Add one is. Uh, 28. 31. Uh, yeah. 31. Okay. 2 times by 9 is? 18. 18 and 3 is? 21. No. 21. 1 times by 9 is 9. 9 and 2 is? 11. 11. So you have two decimal places in our answer. So 1, 2. So the final answer is going to give us 111.15. Next question. Let's count the number of decimal places. One, two, three. Got two decimal places here and one there. So we have three decimal places totally in our question. So we will therefore have three decimal places in our answer. answer. Let's set it out. So 1.89 times by 2.5. So. There we go. Right. So first line we multiply by the first digit. What's nine times by five? Forty-five. Forty-five. Eight times by five. Forty. Add four is? Forty-four. Forty-four. One time by five is? Five. Add four? Nine. I'm just gonna skip on the right now. Okay, on the next line. We multiply Five by two. the second digit on the, and what do we add first? Zero. Zero. So nine times by two is? Eighteen. 
18. 8 times by 2 is? 16. Add 1 is? 17. Uh, 1 times by 2 is? 2. Add 1 is? 3. 3. Now what do we do? We have to add them all up. So we have 5. 4 and 8 is? 4. 9 and 1 is 10 and 7 is? 17. 3 and 1 is? 4. Now we're going to put the decimal point back in and we said we've got to have how many decimal places? 3. 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. So the decimal point goes there. A little bit more darker here. Now, the decimal point, have we lined up the decimal point in this last question? Yeah. No, because it goes from here to here to here. So we're counting decimal places. That's the end of the short video and the end of our lesson. You have to practice them for homework. Okay, that's the end of today's video.